Hi everyone, it's Cheryl from Cheryl's Paper Creations and I have a new album to share with you today. This album is a design team project for Tamara at Country Craft Creations and for Lucy at Tresors Deluxe. And it was made using the paper collection Blue Fern Studios Attic Charm which can be purchased at Country Craft Creations. All of the laces that you see including the brooch and the charm can be purchased at Tresors Deluxe and I'll put all the information in the box below the video for you. This is a large album as are all my albums. It's eight and a half by eight and a half and it has a five inch spine. What I did was I took one of the calling cards from the collection that says memories are timeless treasures of the heart and I used a Prima resin frame and some glitter and then I took an applique really pretty applique it has I don't know if you can see it or not but it's got some pearls and some clear sequins and I I cut it this is the middle and these are the ends and I placed my flowers on top of the applique. These are Prima flowers here and these little pink stamens and white rosebuds were from my stash. This is also a Prima flower. This is a really cute little mushroom charm that has rhinestones and it also has some colored rhinestones, pink and blue. Then I used a pearl border trim around the album. And for the spine, I used a 5 inch lace, which I will show you. I originally covered the spine with a piece of pink paper from the collection and then I used a piece of 5 inch lace and I threaded some seam binding to make sort of a corset effect and then I used this gorgeous heart shaped brooch it's got rhinestones and pearls in it and I'll show you the laces I used for the spine this is the lace running up the spine and then it didn't, it just sort of almost fit because it's five inches. And what I did was I took this lace and I cut the border off. And that's what you see running down the side of the album. And my album has a hook and eye closure. I use those, those on all of my albums. And I went with the, mostly the pinks in the, the collection. I didn't use a lot of the blues. On the first page, I've got a lace, two lace trims. And then I've got this really pretty pink rhinestone and pearl flower. It's a chiffon flower, and that can also be purchased at Tresors. And I, ma I mounted it on some lace with some pearls. And I've got, every page has at least three photo mats. Love the images in this paper collection. And on this page, I've got a pocket. And I also ran a strip of lace down here. It's, it's not really a functioning belly band. It's just for decoration only. my photo mats as I say there were a lot of blues in this collection I just found myself as I was going along I found myself pink is my favorite color so I found myself sort of going towards the pinks now here we have a belly band and I outlined it in pearls and then I have some lace and I put little tiny 
roses in the centers of the flowers. And this green flower is a Blue Fern Studios flower. Uh, and it's got gold glitter on the edges. And Tamara also carries the Blue Fern flowers as well as the matching chipboard embellishments to go with the collection. And she carries the seam binding too. Here I've got a diagonal pocket and some really pretty lace with grapes and leaves. And on this page, I ran some pink pearls down the lace trim and I added a Wild Orchid Crafts Rose with some ribbon. This has the image of the lamp. And here are my photo maps. Here's my waterfall page. And I took a 3x4 calling card that says, You put the light in my life. I outlined it with pearls. And this waterfall can hold 10 4x6 uncropped photos. Here are my diagonal pages. I used a lace applique on each one and one of the pink chiffon flowers from Tresors. And I've got three photo mats in each page. Pink pearl trim, lace running down the side, and pearl trim. I love this page. I covered the pocket with a larger lace and I used little mini roses and then I cut out the word treasure here. I've got a 3x4 and here are some 4x6 photo mats. And I did the same thing again on this page. As you can see I put little pink roses in the center of the lace. And I've got two 3 by 4 and three 4 by 6 photo mats. A lot of people ask me what type of adhesive I use. Um, for my laces, I use Fabri-Tac. And to adhere my pearls to the laces, I use this 450 quick dry adhesive. Fabri-Tac will not hold the pearls on top of lace. And then for my papers, um, mostly my photo mats, I use this wonderful art glitter glue. Um, this comes with a metal tip that you can stick a pin in. This is a very old bottle. This has to be over a year old. It's a two ounce bottle. And I buy my refills. Um, this is an eight ounce bottle. It's art glitter designer glue. It dries clear. And Tamara is going to be carrying this glue in her shop and you really need to try it out. It's great for paper. It doesn't warp. Uh, years ago I used to use tacky glue. Mostly I use the score tape on my paper to uh, construct my album. This page I've got lace on both the top and the pocket. And on the top, see if you can see this, I added two pink roses plus I also added some pearls along the border. 
And then there's pink pearls in the center of these flowers. Here's a little flower cluster here. And then I've got three photo mats. And on the last page, got some really pretty lace with the diagonal pocket. Love is the treasure, laughter is the key. So again, you can purchase this paper collection, Attic Charm, Blue Fern Studios Attic Charm, at countrycraftcreations.com, along with the ivory linen cardstock and the score tape, and check out Tamara's new glitter glue. She'll be having that in. She just signed up for a wholesale account, so she should be having that in within the next week or 10 days. And for laces, check out Lucy's site, Tresors Deluxe. Check out her appliques and her rhinestone brooches. And you can use my discount code Cheryl10 for 10% off. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another album.